find the least common multiple, or LCM, of each group of numbers by listing multiples. Number 1, 4 and 14. Number 2, 3 and 7. Number 3, 2, 5 and 10. This method of listing multiples to find the LCM is useful when the numbers involved are fairly small. Let's go ahead and do number one. Number one, we're working with four and 14. So I start out by listing multiples of four. One times four is four, two times four is eight, three times four is 12, four times four is 16. Now, I don't know exactly how many I have to list here. I'm just going to list a whole bunch. Five times four is 20, six times four is 24, seven times four is 28, eight times four is 32, nine times four is 36, I'll stop there for now and see if that's enough. They go on further. There's a chance I might have to write more. Let's see what happens when we look at the multiples of 14. Now I'll list some multiples of 14. One times 14 is 14. Two times 14 is 28. Now, 3 times 14 is a little bit more complicated. You may have to figure that out with pencil and paper. 3 times 14 is going to be 42. And actually, I don't need any more. In fact, I really didn't even need the 42 here. What we're trying to find is the smallest common multiple of both of those numbers, the smallest number that's on both lists. Now, 14 is below, 14 is not above, 28 is below, 28 is above also. 28 is the smallest number that's on both lists. So I know that 28 is the LCM of 4 and 14. Let's sum that up here on the side. The LCM of 4 and 14 is 28. Let's move on to our second problem, where we're going to find the least common multiple of 3 and 7 by listing multiples. Number 2, 3 and 7. Now, I'm going to start by listing some multiples of 3. I don't know exactly how many I need when I start out. I just list a whole bunch of them. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 3 is 18. 7 times 3 is 21. 8 times 3 is 24, 9 times 3 is 27, and I'll stop there for now. They go on and on. Perhaps that's enough for me to get through this problem. Next, I need to list the multiples of 7. I'll start out with 1 times 7 is 7, 2 times 7 is 14, 3 times 7, 21. And actually, I see that 21 occurs on both lists here. 14 doesn't, 7 doesn't, 21 is the smallest number that occurs on both lists. As soon as we see that smallest number on both lists, we can stop listing multiples. I know that 21 is the LCM of 3 and 7. Notice here that 21 is 3 times 7. 
Sometimes you can get the LCM of two numbers by multiplying them together. But that's not always the case. Notice that in number 1, the LCM of 4 and 14 was not 4 times 14. You can multiply two numbers together to get the LCM when there's no number other than 1 that goes into both of them. Let's take a look at one more problem where we find an LCM by listing multiples. We're going to do number 3 here where we work with the LCM of three different numbers, 2, 5, and 10. 2, 5, and 10. Now I'll start out by listing multiples. The multiples of 2 start out 2, that's 1 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6. In fact, the multiples of 2 are just the same as the numbers you get when you count by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, so on and so forth. Now I'll list some of the multiples of 5. One times five is five, two times five is ten. The multiples of five are the numbers you get when you count by five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, so on and so forth. Next we need to think about the multiples of ten. Now the multiples of 10 start out 1 times 10 is 10, 2 times 10 is 20. We're just counting by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, so on and so forth. And I don't need any more of the multiples of 10 here. Now to find the LCM of three different numbers, I need to find the smallest number that occurs on all three of these lists. And notice that that number is 10. The very first multiple of 10 actually is the least common multiple of these three numbers. 10 is the LCM of 2, 5, and 10. Sometimes the LCM of a group of numbers actually is one of the numbers in the group. You can spot that sometimes if you notice that the smaller numbers in the group go into the larger number. If all of the smaller numbers go into the largest one, that largest one will turn out to be the LCM. So for number 3 here, we have the LCM is 10.